Wouldn't it be great to set MIDI notes inputs from external MIDI controllers or from MIDI clips, fix those notes to a certain pitch range and have them play always a sound. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and I have a max for live device for you, which is actually doing that. So let me explain the issue here. So for example, I have this really nice um, sound pack here from Sonic Kutcher for pan drums. So I can play those. Really nice. But obviously, um, I have only um, a certain range of samples available here. So if I play below here, or if I play up here, no sound is being produced. And that's due to um, the limited pitch range um, instruments do have. So for example, if I play a grand piano, I have all those notes present on a grand piano. If I play a trumpet, I don't have the same range because a trumpet can't play in this big range I would get um, on my MIDI controller here. So here's a way on how to do this. So um, I have this device. So first you would need to know like what is the actual range I have available in the particular um, sampler instrument I'm using here. So usually that's um, pointed out in the manual of the um, appropriate uh, sampling device, but you can have a look if you go to your instrument and if you go into your sampler, you open up the zone and you can see all those different samples and the velocity layers being present here. So I'm in the key view now and if I scroll up all the way up, I can do that. Uh, here I can see up here like the samples are starting on an F2 Which is here and now I need to know like how far they're going how far up they're going and I can see the range is going up till F5 and the note above I can see it's triggering on my piano roll, but no sample is being addressed here. Okay, so now I want to set this um, fixed pitch range here. So I can use this device down below here so I could open up my piano roll window. And now you can see if I'm changing the dials down here, um, the um, notes which are available are being still uh, lightening up and the notes which are blocked are getting this blue shadow here. So now if I put in F2, I can put this in manually and the F5, which is the range here, it will be set to this range. And if I play a note below that range, it will be transposed to the next available uh, range F1 here. So for example, um, if we have a look and let's um, change the view here again, let's fold down the zone window so I can have this window here now and I can see what's happening. So even if I play lower than the range or higher than the range, it's always looking for the next available note here. So sometimes if I play a note and then if I change the range, let's quickly do that. So now I'm changing the range below and the note is still ringing. If I um, release the note here, the note is still being shown here. So I can now press clear or if notes are being still played, I can press flush just to make sure this note is not available anymore. So this way I can now play on my keyboard um, all notes here and let's have a, yeah. And on the G there is actually no note available even <laughs> on, on this pack. So that's why there is no note, but now, yeah, it's transposing notes according to the fixed pitch range I said here. So this is a Max for Life device. Max for Life is available in Ableton Life suite already or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Life standard. Links are in the video description below for my device here, the transpose to fixed pitch 
pitch range. I want to show you another example here where this can become handy. Okay, so let's get rid of that track for now. And um, I'm using a technique here, which is a trigger synced pitch device here. And it's sending, I have some nice chords. Oh, it's a little bit louder. I turn it down a little bit. So you can hear I'm getting those chords. And those chords are coming from this track here, playing a grand piano sound. So now those chords, those chords information are being sent over to a bass sound here as well. And I can um, see and view the notes here. And I can play those notes now via a different MIDI controller. If you're interested in this technique, it's called Trigger Synced Pitch as well. Links in the video description below for that. So in this particular use case, I want to play a bass. And if I play a bass now, Yes, and I have a second sound on here. And even if I'm triggering notes, they are not available in my particular sampler here. So this applies now. Um, um, the first technique I showed apply is applying here now. S um, samples are not present, but there is a different, um, a second reason why I want to set this sound to a fixed pitch range here because if i'm saying hey actually i want a bass sound playing i want notes to play um just below and just play low notes here so now if i apply this fixed pitch range and say please stay in a bass range and i set up uh, set it up here to b1 sounds much more bassy And I can see in the window here, the notes which are getting transposed are lighting up red as well. So this way I can play quite musical. I have a second track on here which is playing a keyboard sound. So now... I can separate the same MIDI information I'm getting from my first track and apply this to instruments and apply this to the ranges which are making sense for this particular sound, in this case for a bass note sound. Again, those uh, this device is available um, and the trigger sync pitch is available as well. You will find the video links in the the links for in the video description, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. You can find those devices as well on AbletonDrummer.com. Take care, bye-bye.